Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld. Welcome to my daily tarot card reading for August 13th, 2013. It's a 1313 kind of day. And uh, I'm gonna pull three cards, one main card, two signifier cards alongside of it. That makes a general reading for the day. And also be aware that in August, which we're reading for, uh, the cards also are for the month because August has a lot to do with what we sum up from the whole year and get ready for the fall and the harvest season. So uh, keep that in mind. These are uh, a little more uh, heavy duty than the average month of the year. Except for October, my favorite month of the year. It's coming up. So first card pulled is the Nine of Swords, which is... It's the not wanting to make hard decisions card, but it's about intentionally closing your eyes to it. It's not that you're blindfolded, you're just like, ah, you know, I don't want to see. But you have, those, you have to make those decisions. They're not going to go away, and, you know, I'd rather get rid of a few of these sharp swords that are hanging over my head one at a time than have nine swords hanging over my head all the time. So consider that. As you go along, oh, and then there's a ten of swords, so it's a whole progression of pointy things. It's not the best thing, honestly, and that's the main... Uh, card of the day, which is the Ten of Swords, which is the Backstabber card. It could be any more of a Backstabber. There's a guy lying face down with ten swords in his back. It's, it's the Backstabber card. It's about betrayal. It's about failure. It's about people, it's about a group of people turning on you and people you could rely on in the midst of battle are not willing to be there for you. There's very subtly the moon is risen during daytime, which is always an ill omen towards battles and things along those, along those lines. And on the other side, it's the King of Cups. Now, what I would take this for right here, the King of Cups is a little bit stern and aloof and removed, but it's about fulfillment and about having what is right and righteous and, and keeping things. He sits back, kind of, you know, lets things happen. So really today, if you're going to have a one-man revolution against the world, it's not going to work out for you. Uh, too many... Um, bad choices that you haven't made cannot be beat today. But what it's really telling me right here, very specifically, is you have to, if you do not start removing these bad things you've done or have been done to you, you're being watched and you're being looked at from either legal sources, parents, jobs, and they're waiting to see what you're going to do. You might think you've gotten away with things or things have not been noted or noticed, but what they have. If you do not start today with removing some of these swords from above you, you're going to get the tenth sword. It's going to be in your back. You're going to fall down and all the swords will be in your back. It, the biggest betrayer today is not a person so much. It's you. It's things you haven't dealt with. Whether they be debts, uh, criminal activities, people have betrayed you, things you've promised to do you haven't done. This is a, uh, kind of a deep day about... It's a 13-13, so yeah, that's another deep reason right there. But it's about addressing the issues that you think haven't been a big deal because no one's confronted you with them, but they are. And sometimes in life, we don't get told people are angry with us. They just stop dealing with us. They, what I like to refer, refer to when I say this with a sense of gloom and doom is when I say, oh, duly noted. Duly noted means, okay, I've got your number. I know what you're about. I'm not going to even give you the privilege of explaining my anger. I'm just going to no longer deal with you. And that's what's been happening and building up behind you. So you need to clear that up. You need to at least remove one or two or three or all these negative aspects that you've kind of let happen or have not fought hard enough to keep them from happening because you've turned a blind eye to it in order to get this day figured out and straightened out. So... I could say simply, today, the, the rule, the lesson you can learn is this. Sometimes you can offend people and they'll never let you know. They'll just never, they'll just make sure that you never succeed. Very quietly and in a room, the king of cups, the man who can call the shots, can just say, no, you're not going to have that job, or no, you're not going to have this opportunity, or bad things will happen, and they're not going to, they're just going to step out of the way and let the swords fall on you. So take today to fix some wrongs that even if, even if you think you're not responsible for them or they're not yours or they happen to you, stop being a crybaby. 
fix some of these things before you end up face down with ten swords in your back. That's my gloom and doom 1313 uh, reading for the day. I hope tomorrow is better, and you can meet me here tomorrow around midnight when my new um, reading is up for the day, and get a hopefully a more uplifting reading. But I would take this as uplifting too, because if you can make this, if you can fix this, you have a good future. If you don't fix it, you're gonna get what you you're gonna reap what you've sown. So on that note, uh, have a great night. Have a magical day tomorrow. Uh, use the comment section and uh, get a hold of me or write me directly. I'm willing to hear from everybody. And I look forward to uh, seeing how tomorrow is for you. Have a magical day.